We're going to head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. This one uh, about the Browns draft that just wrapped up. People need to realize the Browns ain't drafted for needs now. They're drafted for the future. We can't keep paying people like Greedy Williams and everybody. You know, there's only so much money on their salary cap. As always, appreciate all of the voicemails. Let's welcome in Mac Robinson, 92.3 The Fan. So, Mac, it's, uh, I've, I've described it as a, um, a three-dimensional. You, you've got this year's team, you've got the team in two years, and you've got the team in four years. And I think Andrew Barry has, has kind of figured out how to balance the three of them pretty successfully so far. Yeah, and Dave, I think that you're spot on because you look at that kind of balance between you know all, all three of those at that point. That's a good way to look at it. Because, again, you have these players that are coming up when it comes to contracts. And, you know, the the listener, uh, you know, put in there, Greedy Williams, he, him being one of the big ones. Because, again, he's a very talented corner. Somebody who, you know, was in the top 32 of all cornerbacks in uh, the NFL last year, according to Pro Football Focus and his coverage. And so you look at it, you can't keep everybody around. As much as I would love to go ahead and keep all these players in Cleveland, you're not going to be able to do that in the long term. So with that being said... You're drafting some of these players for future needs down the road that makes sense so that you can go ahead and keep up with this. A great example of this is actually the L.A. Rams. People talk about, you know, the the whole bleep them picks narrative, uh, at least when it comes to, you know, how they operate. But in actuality, you know, they ended up getting a lot of those compensatory picks because of players that they let walk. And because of that, they keep on restocking and churning out the back of that the back of that roster. And especially looking at that starting lineup. You see how they're able to kind of keep that cost effective because you're drafting so many players in those back three rounds and constantly flowing out that debt. And the other thing is, is quite honestly, you have no, you have an idea, but you're not certain how quickly these guys in the third, fourth, and fifth round are going to catch on and develop with what you need them to do. So it buys them a little bit of time. 